Good morning, guys. I have not vlogged in what seems like forever. My days have been completely consumed with wedding stuff. Um, at the beginning, I would vlog whenever I do whenever I would do wedding stuff because it'd be like one day here and there, and it'd be fun. And now we're a week and a half out for the like to the day, and there's just so much to do. And every day is something like dress fittings and ven like meeting with all the different vendors, going to this store, that store, making pr picking this up, printing this out. Um, my dining room table, as you see, is no longer even a functioning dining room table. It's like just a dumping ground for wedding stuff. Hi, Jim. Um, yeah, so let me show you what I've got going on here. Today, along with other things, we have to print off our place cards, like with people's name and their the table number so they know where to sit. Um, I put these little things together. Believe it or not, I got these really pretty sparkly picture frames from the dollar store and I just wrote on one of them please sign our guest book because it's gonna like the guest book's gonna be here and then on the other one use the hashtag Jen and Jim 2016 on Instagram and then in the middle will be a picture of us some people like most people do engagement shoots I really didn't want one I don't know I just didn't feel like it so I just picked one of my favorite pictures of us like that I had on Instagram and I just put it in a pretty sparkly frame. Why not? It's cute. I don't know. Is that tacky? I don't think so. Oh, I printed off our menus for our wedding. And yeah, I just we just printed this these off ourselves. And I stuck on a little, like, I don't know if you can tell, little, like, diamondy thing there. Just to make it a little fancier and cuter. Uh, what else do we got going on? Oh, these are going to be, like little diamondy things that are on every table at the base of every centerpiece like these this is the vase of our centerpiece and then there's going to be like all flowers up there so on the table there's going to be just some diamonds scattered around the base of it um here we have like all candles so these like pillar candles we've got like two on each side for our head table and there's going to be like these candles on them and these are the candles for the votives which are in here all packed up nicely from ikea so every table is going to get four of those glass votives with those candles so that'll add some nice illumination like around the base of this vase yeah and this is like what I take with me religiously everywhere. This has all of my contracts, all vendor information. So this is like to my hip at all times. Okay, so I think the first thing we gotta do is print off some information for the DJ and then print off some place cards. And then we gotta go meet with the new DJ cause oh my God, guys, let me tell you about that. I explained a little bit on Snapchat um, when it happened, but Basically, my DJ has just completely been MIA. He never responds. He acts like when he does respond days later or hours, hours and hours later, he acts like I'm a nobody, like I'm not important. Okay, I tr I'm, like, I'm really trying not to be like a crazy bridezilla at all. I used to be a florist for six years. So I worked in the wedding industry. I know how annoying brides can be. So I specifically make a point not to be like that and to let vendors do their thing. But anytime I would have a question, you expect your vendor, if it's like literally in the year and a half that we've been together, I've literally bothered him like three times, four times, and he never responds. I'm, in, I'm the idiot because I read bad, bad reviews on him, like horrible reviews. Like he ruined my wedding reviews. But because he was a mutual friend of somebody that like is close to me, I just figured he wouldn't screw me over. He'd be nicer to me. He knows me personally, so he wouldn't do those things. I don't know. I guess I'm an idiot. But yeah, like he just wasn't accommodating. He would never book appointments with me. Like two weeks before the wedding, I wanted to go over the night because he basically runs the show. I feel like 
he should try to work with me a little bit but I was trying to work with him and he was just not even caring like who I was so finally I was just like you know what I don't need I don't want your services thank you and like keep the deposit I understand take care yeah, so I like canceled my DJ two weeks before my wedding. So that added a little bit of stress to my day. But we found another one and we're meeting with him today. So um, hopefully that goes well because the wedding's in a week and a half. Ah, run now. Why? Run while you still can. I'm locking you down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the story. I just want to summarize because if I told you like every detail of this story, we'd be here for three weeks. So yeah, that's pretty much the summary. So now let's continue. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna make lunch. I'm gonna ask Jim to start printing off some stuff that I need while I make lunch and then uh, yeah, do some stuff and then go meet with DJ. I should make a list. Lists help me to not feel scatterbrained and stressed about all the things that need to get done. So if you just do a list and then check it off, it's better. What are you even doing? What game are you playing? A pirate game. Oliver farted. He smells. Oliver? Ooh. Oliver? Wow, that's a good one. Is this true? Did you do that? Did you fart? Oh my god. Attack. Why is he so cute? <laughs> Why is your beard like, oh, it's soaked from chewing and licking? Okay. 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 Okay, licking machine. Okay. 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 Relax. This is his new favorite toy. Oh, he gets very possessive okay. when I take it away. Okay, wait, I'm just showing the people. He loves these, like, <laughs> I'm surprised he's waiting patiently. He loves these little like, what are these called? These little ribs, nibs, nubs, stubs. He loves like attempting to like pull them. He's actually extracted a few somewhere, like over here on this okay. butt end. Yes. Okay, buddy, relax. <laughs> relax. He's like, stop talking about it. Just give it to me. Oh my god, he makes it look so satisfying. Like sometimes when he sits on my lap and chews on it, I completely go in a trance and I'm just like, Ugh. anyways, so look, it's such good quality. It shows every grease, every, gre every greasy pore, every wrinkle, every flyaway hair, every bed head. No, I like your bed head. It makes you look like Dennis the Menace. No, alfalfa. 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 Anyways, yes, I love the good quality of this camera, but guys. It feels like Blu-ray when you're moving it around. I know. I don't. Looking at the screen. I honestly don't. I'm not comfortable with how crisp it is to show like every pore and every acne scar, every fresh pimple, every grease, because I get greasy. You gotta be real, yo. Anyways. Okay, so in case anyone was curious, I got the Sony Cybershot HX80, and it's pretty good. Um, the only thing I will say is that it's not very good in low lighting, which was what I was hoping for to make like a camera better than my phone. I was hoping that it would be better in lower lighting, but it's not. But everything else about it is really, really good. So far, I'm happy. I've only shot one video with it. And then today will be my first vlog with it. It's got like 30 times optical zoom, which is really good for such a small camera. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be zooming much with it, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to be vlogging with it. So I like that there's the flip screen. So the flip screen is really, really helpful when trying to vlog. And I like this little thumb grip here. Makes it easier not to drop and stuff like that. So, so far so good. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I just cut up a couple of packs of extra firm tofu and I just cut them in cubes and drizzled them with a little bit of sea salt and well first I put some cooking spray and then I put a little bit of sea salt, garlic powder and pepper and now I'm going to put it into the oven. I have it at 400 degrees, maybe it should be 350, I'm not sure. It's the first time I'm making it in the in the oven. I usually 
put it like on a pan, but my stove is going to be busy with rice and veggies. Okay, so I've just got my rice cooking here. I have about 15 more minutes left. Um, I'm sauteing a little bit of carrots and cauliflower. And I just seasoned it with some Bragg's liquid soy seasoning, which is like zero calories. And a little bit of teriyaki sauce, which is 20 calories per tablespoon. So it gives it a nice little Asian flavor. And yeah, let's see how these guys are doing. They're starting to brown up a little bit. I'll taste one in a second. Okay, so lunch is all ready. Now what I did with the tofu is I added a little bit of sweet chili sauce and um, added a little bit of sesame seeds as well and put some break soy seasoning on my rice. For Jim's, I did the same thing with the tofu, but I put some sriracha on his rice because he likes things a little bit more spicy. So we are going to devour this and then continue with all of our wedding things and then get ready for our DJ appointment. Yummy. Once my Instagram pics are taken, this is how my food really looks. Nice and messy and delicious. <laughs> you like it, Jim? Really good. Yeah, so tasty. Oliver's waiting for a bite. Negative. Oliver, stop making me feel bad, man. You're not getting any. You want some? We're getting our music selections ready for our DJ. I'm so excited. Where's Oliver? Oh my god, hi Bubba. Yeah, we're just getting it all ready for him. Just nice and printed off, nice and easy. He always gets confused when I'm filming him from behind. He gets so nervous. Why? Why do you get so nervous? You're gonna marry me. You're gonna marry me and you're scared of me? Shenanigans Filming. Bye. I'm gonna sneak in here. This is like where the receiving line is gonna go in here. I love that. And that's the hall in there. This is our room. So hello. that hello. Hi guys. Hi. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so our appointment went on so long because we just kept talking and telling stories and now the mall is going to close in 10 minutes. Can I make it? Can this happen? Oh. See, this camera's not so good in low lighting. Oh well. Let's do this. I don't know. What do you mean, did you park the car? Are you going to go without the... Oh, I thought you were going to get it. You actually erased all my friends' work on there, which I was not happy Oh my goodness. I don't even know if it's at this entrance or what. She better, like, take it back. So, I don't know. Did I say it in the car what happened? Oh, so what happened was I bought this, like, headband of diamondy things to replace the veil for the reception. And then the second I took it out of the package to try it on with my dress, Talking I'm talking to the people. <laughs> the second I took it out of the package to try it on for the dress, one of the diamonds pops out. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So what's gonna happen on the wedding day? That's so embarrassing. So I hope that they will replace it or fix it or I don't know. It's so late and I still have to work out. No, okay, good. But I don't think, I don't, the stand should be right here. So if, since it's not, then we're at the wrong entrance. What's it called? Gemstone? Gemstone? No. You don't even know? No. It's yeah. not here. We're gonna miss it. 
Where, where's your receipt? It's in there. The silver box limited. The silver box. What are we gonna do now? Oh my god, this is a mission. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, So it's nowhere. What the heck? Uh. That's a T. Yeah, the. I don't know. So do silver. S. It wasn't there? I did, yeah. Oh. For God's sakes, I'm gonna pee my pants. Okay, let's go. If there, if it's so, like, it's literally gonna close in five minutes. We could be probably at the... Imagine it's that direction. Maybe. Can we just ask somebody? Who? Somebody who works here. Do you see anybody? This is frustrating. That's because I don't ever shut up. You guys know this. I'm with the long-winded answers and questions. And I wouldn't shut up and we talked and talked and talked, but it's nice to have a good DJ who's sweet and acts like he cares about us, right? He's a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jim, we're going the wrong way. We need to just ask somebody. I think we're wasting time. Okay. Ooh, do you see anybody here? The people who work here. I don't know. What people do you see that are just in the hallway? You're in the <laughs> Now everybody sees you yelling at me and being I'm frustrated. Yelling. I didn't win. What do you want me to, you want me to ask? What the hell? Why am I just in this? Because I don't have makeup on, so it needs to be your face. You gotta walk faster. I can't walk faster. Why? Because you're wearing heels? I can't walk faster in my little flat shoes. I don't have support. It's not the shoes that are the problem, it's the fact that I feel like I'm, so short. I feel like I'm waddling. Okay, so I'm back from the mall. Um, so we found the stand, the jewelry stand, but we had to walk the entire length of the mall. And she didn't have a second headpiece there. And she's like, I can order it, but it's not gonna come till next week. I'm like, next week's my wedding. And she goes, well, you can come the day before and pick it up. It should be in by then. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Since that's just so touch and go, just I'll take my money back and I'll find something or whatever. And she's like, no, we don't do refunds. I understand if your policy is you don't do refunds, but it's not like I just changed my mind. Your product broke and now you don't have a second one to help me out. You know, my wedding's in a week, like help a brother out. But so I just started to get like a little flustered. I, I was really nice. Like I didn't, I wasn't rude to her because she was really, really super nice and understanding, but she wasn't budging, even though I think like she could have made an exception. So I was just getting very frustrated. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm super stressed. I'm super stressed, be like these last few weeks, getting everything together and especially how like nothing's really just gone smooth. Like I haven't just booked something and it'd be fine and it just show up for the wedding. No, everything I've booked has fallen through somehow or something that I've gotten has broken or it's always like I'm nothing, I, I don't just accomplish something and it's over with. It's like I gotta go back 20 times to like make it happen. So I'm just so tired, but I think though too, because I'm PMSing this week, does not mix well with uh, pl wedding planning. So I just feel, I just feel overwhelmed and stressed and frustrated. I'm just so ready for this to be over. Like I'm so ready for the wedding day. Cause I know that no matter what's going wrong right now, I know that that day, everything's gonna come together. And really, as long as your friends and family are there and the food is good and there's good music, it's gonna be awesome. It doesn't matter what your hair looks like. Doesn't matter what the tablecloths look like. It doesn't matter about all that crap. So I know, trust me, I know. I'm just being honest with you that I'm so frustrated right now. So yeah, anyways, I really, tomorrow I have um, my hair and makeup trial tomorrow, like at noon. So I need to wash and blow dry my hair tonight because you need to have it done the like wash and dry the night before and so it's 10 30 p.m right now i should be upstairs doing that but um i needed to work out like 
I've just, I've been making so many excuses lately and like there's people 10 times busier than me who get it done. So I just, I shouldn't make excuses. Um, yeah. So I forced myself to come down because, you know, anybody can find time. Anybody can find 30 minutes, an hour within their day. It's, are you going to make the time? And I, and I don't want to push. Yes, yeah, so a wedding wedding is busy especially the few weeks before your wedding it's busy and that could be like it is a good excuse but i just don't want to make more excuses because i make enough i make enough we all make enough excuses so if there is a possibility like it's not midnight it's 10 30. i can get a, an hour workout in wash my hair dry it go to bed a little bit later than i want to oh friggin well you know what i mean was my <laughs> i think my arm was <laughs> i was getting so tired that i was like lowering the the screen anyways so yeah, I'm gonna work out, do like maybe 20, 30 minutes of weights, 20, 30 minutes of, I don't know which, either the stepper, the treadmill, or the elliptical, and yeah, just do a workout. See you later. Okay, so I usually use 15s for like bicep curls and stuff, but I just picked it up and it felt so heavy. I think it's because I haven't done weights in a while and because um, it's really late too, so. I'm going to use tens for now and oh well. Actually, maybe I underestimated myself. We often underestimate ourselves. You know what? I can do it. Maybe less reps. Maybe I'll go as much as I can with these and then when I'm fatigued, continue with the tens. Yeah, let's do that. Ugh. Okay, so I'm done my workout and I didn't even get to get footage like I usually do for my vlogs because my handy dandy camera died. Are you kidding me? Like, there's two things I'm not used to with this uh, new camera. One, I'm not used to the fact that it only records in 20 minute increments and then shuts off and you gotta start it up again. Because my phone, which I've been vlogging on all year, you press play or you press record and it runs until you stop. The second thing I'm not used to is the fact that the battery died, died so quick. Like, I've only used this camera today to vlog. Yes, I've vlogged the whole day, but I've only vlogged a few minutes at a time. Whereas using my camera all year, I would not only film all day, I would edit on my phone, I'd upload on my phone, I'd take pictures, post pictures on Instagram, I'd run my diet bets, I'd answer YouTube comments, and respond to emails, text, talk, like, and it would last me until the night. So, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to get a second battery and just keep it with me for things like that because I don't see, like, there's times that I vlog, like, get more footage than I did today. So, it doesn't look like it would be able to last the whole day. Oh my God, are you crazy? What the heck? So, anyways, um, I'm feeling a little bit better after my workout. It's always the case, you know? It's the times that you feel so busy and stressed and overwhelmed and feel like you can't oh my god i just can't do a workout i'm so busy i gotta do this da, da, da. workouts just can, i can't those are the times that you need to force a workout because it makes every all of your problems that seem so huge before seem so much less stressful and crazy and like you're in just a calmer mind frame and everything seems not such a big deal so i'm glad i got that done but it is late it's almost midnight and i gotta still go upstairs and shower wash my hair and get ready for to to get it ready for my uh hair appointment tomorrow so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me i don't even remember like what i even filmed but um if you did enjoy this vlog then please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more videos and we will see you in the next one guys bye